Hello everyone and welcome to this lesson. In this lesson we're going to be learning all about trail renderers and how to add trails. If you're new here, my name is Yusuf and I teach on this little YouTube channel called The Game Dev Show. It's all about game development and C Sharp. Now in this lesson we'll be just going over how to add trails and how to add a trail render component to our game. Now with that being said, don't forget to like this video and subscribe and without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so I quickly just made this scene, I drew the assets in a sprite and I made a 2D player controller script. If you want to learn how to make a player controller script, it should appear in the top right corner of the screen. Just click on that and watch that till the end, and also I made a video about how to add a jumping mechanic, if, if you want you can check that out too. First of all, add a simple material. I advise you to add either a default particle material or a sprite material, one of those. Now if we move it, as you can see, a little trail appears, a little line appears. Now right here we have some settings to make our trail a bit better. You can edit the width of the trail right here near this graph. And by using the graph you can edit the trail's width over time. Now, this little time option just counts down from when the line gets drawn and destroys itself when it reaches 0. I'm setting this at 0.4. The, minim the minimum vertex distance option is whenever this value is just basically whenever this value is higher, the sharper the trail render is going to be and the more jagged it's going to be. I'm just going to keep this at 0.4 so it's basically a smooth little line. Auto destruct just destroys the trail render automatically. Color just basically edits the color. You can actually edit it so that it's a gradient and not a fixed color. Corner verticals just adds verticals at the end of each corner of the trail. You can adjust the order and layer so that the trail shows over some sprites but not over others. I'm gonna set this value to 1. So it doesn't show over the player which, which the order and layer for the player is I think 3. And the order and layer for the background is minus 1. The order and layer for the ground is 0. So the order and layer for the trail is actually really good. And well, basically that's everything you need to know. The rest isn't as important for what we want to achieve. Alright, so it, start off, it starts off as white. I just set it as from white to blue instead of from blue to white. Now you have this mode or you have the fixed mode. So it starts off as white all the way there and it's like it doesn't blend in. It's fixed. I think I'm gonna keep it this way just like that's the look I'm going for and maybe just go left right left right and that's pretty cool if we move left and right it shows a little trail effect but I think the background is uh, a bit too uh, I think it blends in with the background so I'm just gonna make it a bit darker maybe something like this just for it to show like the uh, trail render so now if we go right very cool it shows and if we go left it also shows now if we're just a bit too fast about it yeah, let's go to the player controller so that that's something like 17 all right so now if we play all right, very cool. Now we can go right, left, jump, and it'll show. That's a very cool little line renderer right there. Very cool. And now let's go to the second effect. Now one little extra bonus, you can even add more colors. So you cannot, you, you don't, you, blah, blah. you don't have to stick to two colors to blend. You can even just uh, left click anywhere here, right here, and you can select a color. So for example, select this color and just change, like make a rainbow effect or make whatever effect you want. Now if we play, it's this effect right here. You can even make it fixed, but I don't think fixed looks good 
for this little effect right here. So I'm just going to keep it at blend. Now combined with the knowledge from the last video and the knowledge you gained from this video, I dare you to make something like this. A cursor that has a trail render to it. It's really easy. If you haven't watched my last video about cursors, go and watch that video and I dare you to do something like this. I just made a sprite called mouse and I attached it to the cursor's position. Alright, and with that being said, thank you for watching this lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and comment down your thoughts below. If you have any recommendations for future episodes about, about anything related to game development, don't forget to comment that down below, and I will see you in the next episode.